Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 18, exercise 4a, chapter 4. Chapter name is Rational Numbers of Class 7th of Composite Mathematics Textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog messgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSC, ICSC and other state board. Let's get started and solve some questions of the chapter 4. Chapter name is Rational Numbers. Today we will learn and solve exercise questions 1 to 18, exercise 4a of chapter 4. Chapter name is Rational Numbers. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 1. Uh, find the 5 rational numbers equivalent to each of the following rational numbers. First bit is 3 divided by 5. We have to find the rational numbers. We have to find the 5 equivalent rational numbers of the rational number 3 divided by 5. Uh, we know rational, equivalent rational number is if we multiply the same number in both the numerator and denominator, then we get the rational number that is called the equivalent rational number of the given rational numbers. So, 3 divided by 5. 3 by 5, if we multiply 3 with 2. And we have to multiply the same number with the denominator 5. So, 3 multiplied with 2 is 6 and 5 multiplied with 2 is 10. Now, 6 divided by 10 is the equivalent rational number of 3 divided by 5. 3 divided by 5. This is the first equivalent rational number and we have to find the 5 rational numbers. So, second rational number if we multiply 3 divided by 5 with the same number, suppose 5 in both the numerator and denominator, then we will get 3 multiplied with 5 is 15, 5 multiplied with 5 is 25, then 15 divided by 25 is the equivalent rational number of 3 divided by 5. Now, if we multiply 3 divided by 5 with 10 and 5 also multiplied with 10, then 30 divided by 50 is the equivalent rational number of 3 divided by 5. Now, if we multiply 3 by 5 with the same number that is uh, suppose 15, then 5 multiplied with 15 is 45 divided by 75. This is also the equivalent rational number of 3 divided by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we have to find one more rational number. Suppose uh, 3 divided by 5. If we multiply 3 with 20 or any number, you can multiply 1000 or 2000 or uh, 500 or 19 or 29, any number. In both the numerator and denominator, then we will get the rational number that is the equivalent rational number. Now, 3 multiplied with 20 is 60 and 5 multiplied with 20 is 100. Now, 60 divided by 100 is the equivalent rational number of 3 divided by 5. So, these are the 5 rational equivalent rational numbers of the given rational number 3 divided by 5. Now, question number second bit is minus 6 divided by 11. <coughs> now, <coughs> we have to find the 5 equivalent rational number of the given rational numbers minus 6 divided by 11. Now, suppose my, we have to multiply the denominator with 2. Then, we have to multiply the same number 2 with the numerator minus 6. Now, minus 6 multiplied with 2 is minus 12 and 11 multiplied with 2 is 22. Now, minus 12 divided by 22 is the equivalent rational number of the given rational number minus 6 divided by 11. Now, suppose minus 6 11 divided by 11, if we multiply this rational number with the number minus 2 and the same number minus 2 with the denominator 11. Now, minus 6 multiplied with minus 2 is 12 and 11 multiplied with minus 2 is minus 22. Now, this is the equivalent rational number of the given rational number minus 6 11 divided by 11. Now, suppose minus 6 divided by 11. If we multiply minus 6 with suppose 9 
Now 11 multiplied with 9 is minus 54 divided by 9, 19. This is the equivalent rational number of minus 6 divided by 11. Now if we multiply the uh, numerator and denominator 11 with the number, suppose 1. Then minus 6 divided by 11 is the equivalent rational number of the given rational number minus 6 divided by 11. Now if we multiply minus 6 divided by 11 with 11. Now 11 multiplied with 11 is 121 and minus 6 multiplied with 11 is minus 66. Now this is the equivalent rational number of the given rational number minus 6 divided by 11. Now the five rational numbers, uh, five now the five equivalent rational numbers of the given rational number minus six divided by eleven are minus twelve divided by twenty two, twelve divided by minus twenty two, or the same number that is minus twelve divided by twenty two, and minus fifty four divided by ninety nine, minus six divided by eleven, and minus sixty six divided by one hundred twenty one. These are the five decimal, equivalent decimal numbers of the given decimal number minus 6 divided by 11. Now third bit, 7 divided by minus 10. We have to uh, find the equivalent decimal number of the given decimal number 7 divided by minus 10. Now suppose 7 divided by minus 10. We have to multiply 7 with 3. Then we have to multiply the same number 3 with the denominator minus 10. 7, 3 is 21. Minus 10, 3 is minus 30. Now suppose minus 10. If we multiply same number 7 with the both the numerator and denominator. 7 and minus 10. Now 7, 7 is 49. And minus 10 multiplied with 7 is minus 4, 70. So, this is the equivalent decimal number of the given decimal number 7 divided by minus 10. Now, if we multiply 7 divided by minus 10 with, suppose, uh, this is 11. Now, minus 10 multiplied with 11 is 77 divided by minus 110. So, this is the equivalent decimal number of the given decimal number 7 divided by minus 10. Now 7 divided by minus 10 is 7 multiplied with 10. Suppose multiply the given decimal number with 10. Minus 10 multiplied with 10. 70 divided by minus 100. So this is the equivalent decimal number of the given decimal number 7 divided by minus 10. Suppose multiply 7 with 15. Minus 10 multiplied with 15. Now 15 7 is 105 divided by minus 150. Now this is the equivalent decimal number of the given decimal number 7 divided by minus 10. So the 5 equivalent decimal numbers are 21 divided by minus 30, 49 divided by minus 70, 77 divided by minus 110. Minus 70 divided by minus uh, 70 divided by minus 100 and 105 divided by minus 150. Now question number fourth bit. 8 divided by 15. We have to find the equivalent decimal number of 8 divided by 15. Suppose we multiply the 8 divided by 15 with 20. 8 multiplied with 20 is 160 and 15 multiplied with 20 is 300. So this is the equivalent decimal number of the given decimal number 8 divided by 15. Now suppose 8 divided by 15 multiply with 4. Now 15 multiplied with 4 and 8 multiplied with 4 is 32 divided by 60. And this is the equivalent decimal number of the given decimal number 8 divided by 15. Now suppose we multiply 8 divided by 15 with 8. 15 multiplied with 8. 
and this is the equivalent rational number of the rational number 8 divided by 15. Now multiply 8 divided by 15 with suppose uh, 7 or 12. Now 15 multiplied with 12. 8, 12 is 96 and 15 multiplied with 12 is 1 and 2 plus 7, 8 and this is 10. 180. So this is the equivalent rational number of the rational number 8 divided by 15. Now 8 divided by 15. Now multiply the same number. Uh, that is suppose 15. Now the same number 15 with the rational denominator 15. Now 15 is 120. And 15 multiplied with 15 is 225. So this is the equivalent rational number of the given rational number 8 divided by 15. So these are the 5 equivalent rational numbers of the rational numbers 8 divided by 15. That is 160 divided by 300, 32 divided by 60, 64 divided by 120, 96 divided by 180 and 120 divided by 225. These are the 5 rational numbers. 5 equivalent rational numbers of the given rational number 8 divided by 15. So, how to find the equivalent rational number? That is, uh, if we multiply the same number in both the numerator and denominator in the given rational number, then the rational number that we will get, that is the equivalent rational number of the given rational number. This is the formula.